Hey students, I'm Dave Cullen and I'm here to introduce a new section of my website devoted to you guys. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the features and some of the offers like a Skype session. Um, but first I want to tell you about how it came about. And uh, it was really this spring I went out on a tour of colleges, um, high schools, one middle school, um, and I talked about well, about 5,000 of you guys, which was kind of overwhelming. Um, I was really amazed at how engaged um, you guys were and um, how much so many of you had embraced the book um, and kind of were into it with your friends and talking about it um, and also just uh, kind of a hunger uh, for reading and for learning um, and I really liked that and I was really turned on doing it so I scheduled some more of them and I also talked to a lot of you about what, uh, how I could help and what, things that you would like from me. So once I got back home this spring, I uh, built this uh, new part of my website. Um, so some of the things in there uh, are the things you asked for. First of all, you said you wanted a place to discuss Columbine and the book specifically. Um, and there wasn't a good place to do that online. So I built this page... Um, on Facebook. Uh, they got a discussion board and I started a bunch of different topics and I'm looking for other ideas for you of topics you want to discuss. So there's one place to do that. Um, also a lot of people have said online that you want me to come to your school. Um, barking dog in my neighborhood. Uh, he comes day and night. Um, where was I? Oh, you want me to come to your school? Um, and I'd like to. I, I want to do some more but obviously I can't get everywhere. So what I have decided to do is that any school where you get 10 people who are willing to read the book and want to discuss it in class, if you talk to one of your teachers, I will Skype into your class. Um, whether you want to do 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe even a whole uh, period um, with your class, and I'll do that in the fall um, if you get uh, 10 kids to read it over the summer. Um, let's see. <laughs> what else? I already forgot my agenda. Sorry, but luckily it's on the student page, um, which is, by the way, if you just go to DaveCullen.com, and then click the uh, students button at the top, or Columbine. Uh, well, the students one is for you. Uh, let's see. Oh, I made a I'm making a bunch of uh, intro videos that I think will be good for students or book clubs. You both have told me you wanted these things, so I think they'll work for either one. Where each one will be on a specific topic, like one on characters, one on structure of the book, how research, the research process, one on writing, and so forth. Each one, hopefully, five to ten minutes. Um, I did the first one, which was way too long. Um, on characters, I might have to edit it or redo it. But the idea is one topic, uh, the teacher can show it in class if she wants. Uh, or you might just enjoy watching them uh, to learn something yourself. Um, and uh, then you can talk about it. Uh, oh, here's another thing I did too, <laughs> uh, which is the Columbine Student Guide. Um, I already created an instructor guide, which I'm redoing a little bit, but with, for teachers. But this is specifically for, specifically for students. Um, a lot of you guys, most of you all have told me that you read the book just for your own enjoyment and curiosity because you wanted to read it. Um, but that after you finished reading it, a lot of people have been interested in seeing how you could use that for school credit. So um, if you've got ideas yourself, great, but a lot of people are sort of, uh, could use some help there. So um, in here we've put together um, ideas about how to use it for a research paper, um, a class presentation, a group project creative project, all sorts of different ideas. So if you want help in getting it going, um, here's some ideas here. And your teacher might be interested, teachers might be, your profs might be interested in this too. That's for college or high school. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. Oh, I forgot. I was, I'm going to give you a tour at the end of where I live and work. I was going to say that at the beginning, but I didn't. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, there's something I think I'm tentatively calling the uh, Columbine Student Advisory Board. Because um, I want to help, and I know a lot of you have lots of ideas on help uh, spreading the word to other students. Obviously, I have a vested interest in that, but I'd like to um, see as many students as possible read the book. So, you guys have a bazillion ideas, and I'm going to have one discussion uh, page on the Facebook page specifically to, devoted to getting the word out. Well, there are ideas on contests we can have. Um, you know, your school newspapers or college radio stations who might be interested in doing something about it. Uh, word of mouth, online discussion boards uh, that we should be targeting or that you might be able to help uh, get the word going. Any kinds of different ideas to discuss. That's a place I would really like you guys involved if you're interested. <clears throat> Alright, uh, oh, also at my site, if you're interested, there's a lot more information on Columbine. You probably know that at davecullen.com. I've got something called the 
called the Columbine Guide, where there's like uh, pictures and videos, um, the killer's journals I have scanned there, so you can actually read them if you're interested in. Um, there's resources for victims, or people with PTSD, um, all sorts of different things. Uh, and just go to um, DaveCullen.com and click the Columbine tab. And then over on the right is the Columbine Guide. Now, I'm going to give you a short little uh, tour of where I work and where I live. We're standing right now in my studio. Um, I have a, it's a studio apartment uh, down the hall from where I live that I have turned into an, a very messy office. So let's see, hopefully we did that okay. Um, so, here's where I work. Here's sort of my main desk, which I have just like a, a big uh, table. I just got from Home Depot. It's just sitting on... Um, filing cabinets. I mean, it's very cheap. Um, but I got my main computer, uh, and then I got another one. Um, actually, that's the laptop now, which is running the whole thing. Um, and but So I got two different uh, screens I can work with. Uh, that's the student page. Obviously, um, and a very messy desk. Over here, I got some bookshelves, zillions of uh, filing uh, cabinet drawers. Um, oh, the sun went down while I was working on this. I'm gonna take you outside anyway. Back up. Here is my balcony. I like that I live. Well, oh, I got my big ficus tree, one of them. And then out here, it's just after dusk. I don't know if you can see anything. Uh, there would be the Rockies are way out there in the background. You can just see glimpse a little of them in the corner in that little crevice there. Um, and then there's a house next door. There's a mixture of apartments and houses in this neighborhood. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so here is more of my plants. And now I'm going to take you down the hallway. Oh, more just uh, reams of evidence everywhere. Uh, very busy office. Down, oops, down the hallway to where I live. It's kind of an old dump of a building. It's a nasty old place that I know it looks like a cell block. Uh, but I make do. So here is my apartment. With, yes, of course, still more plants um, in my, uh, there's my kitchen, uh, and there's my living room. Uh, God, I'm going to have to turn on more lights. It was brighter when I started this. Um, uh, <laughs> that's the TV with the TiVo. Uh, there's my other favorite ficus plant and my other balcony. God, I love balconies. I do so much of my work out here. Oh, you can't, oh, I guess you can see some of the nighttime sky here. In beautiful downtown, not downtown, but near downtown, about a mile and a half away. Um, oh, these rugs on the wall. Uh, I got most of my stuff, my, my decorations, uh, <laughs> which uh, might have to be a quote, but uh, from my travels, I've lived overseas for a couple of years. These rugs are from um, Morocco, a place called Tinahir, down in the south by the Sahara that I really like. And then I got some of the rugs down here from... Uh, uh, Kuwait, where I used to live, and uh, various stuff from there. I go, oh, there's my little pipe which fell apart uh, from Kuwait. And um, then down the hallway, there's my kitchen again. This is the hallway to my messy bedroom. Uh, more plants, my third big ficus, and there's my other big favorite plant. Uh, more uh, Moroccan rugs, my bud, which I never make. Um, and yeah, that's the not too messy bathroom. So, that is where I live. Um, I hope this has been a little enjoyable, and I'm going to say goodbye.